Hello Forge of Empire fans and hello my guildmates. Okay, so my triumphal arch is finally up and providing euphoria and my productivity is up to 150% so I can harvest. Okay, let's harvest, see what we get. pretty good all right we have a hundred and thirty one uh, thousand coins and three hundred and sixty thousand supplies oh, we're doing well and uh, all we need to do now we already sold the roof tile house so now we just need to build two villas I think they go here. It doesn't really matter where they go as long as they fit. Well, we might have room for another one. Oh no, he's, he's got no room there. Okay. One over there, and I think the last one goes down here. Okay, and they'll be ready, I guess, in when? Uh, 10 hours or one hour? Yeah, the villas will be ready in 10 hours, and that's when they start actually uh, producing, which means their first production will be ready in 20 hours. Okay, it is what it is. So that will be tomorrow. Uh, it's five o'clock my time now, so it will be one o'clock in the afternoon if I am able to harvest at one o'clock in the morning. Or at three o'clock in the morning. Probably not. Anyway, sometime tomorrow afternoon. Okay, uh, now I have quite a lot of uh, coins and supplies left. What do I do with them? Uh, do I produce goods? Uh, let's produce goods. Uh, I've got 81 coins. But first let me check that I don't need to build anything else. So yeah, let me go, oops, uh, okay, so my eighth harvest, I organized my notes here, so we harvest, we sell the roof tile, which I did, we build two paths, which I did, two villas which I built. Now the settlement is complete. Okay. So we can recruit units or produce goods. Okay, let's produce goods. See if we can build another expansion. So we need 90. So that means we have to do 5 times 20. So how much does goods? All right. So 5 times 20 is 100,000, uh, 105,000. I don't have enough right now, but I'll have him again uh, by tomorrow, so no problem. Uh, 60, that means I got two more, okay.
All right. So tomorrow I will produce another hundred. It will give me 160. I only need 90 for the next one. Okay. So let me look at my euphoria. So I have additional euphoria of 625. So tomorrow I can produce one aqueduct and the rest of the goods. So I can have more room for more aqueducts. And I'll get 10%. Uh, not tomorrow, in 10 hours actually from now. Okay, I'm comfortable with that. And I'll start increasing my military boost because right now I'm at 75 but uh, the turning grounds which is giving me 25 is going to expire soon I have to check when I think tomorrow or Thursday if I'm not mistaken but it served me well having 75 percent for the first five six days of quantum incursions. Uh, I lost a few troops, not as many as in the first quantum incursions. Uh, in the first one, at this stage, I lost more than half of my troops, but then I also uh, only used the ballistas and the archers. Okay. Unfortunately, in this particular quantum incursion, uh, there was not how many calls for either archers or ballistas. I think only once or twice of all the nodes. I did do a few nodes with supplies and with goods, so hopefully the node after this one is uh, donation of supplies and goods and hopefully the preferred one will be supplies because I have a lot more supplies than I have coins. Okay, I'm all done. Uh, again, uh, just to remind you, my city is actually flipped. It's a mirror image. My Two triumphal arches are on the northwest corner. They should be on the northeast if we were to follow the map. Uh, and where I have my goat farm. And on the bottom, the same thing. My goods building is on the southwest. And in the map, it's on the southeast. But everything else, the ratios, the roads, it's just a mirror image. So I can buy an expansion below the goods building and above the triumphal arch. And I could not do it here because of this particular rock. Well, that's it for the uh, eight harvests. And I hope you guys uh, got something out of it. Uh, a couple of things. You should not choose the limestone goods because it's a 4x4. Four four. So choose iron and any of the other three. Uh, I think it was in the Harvest 7. It asks you to delete two roof tile houses and then uh, later on it tells you to build one back. You don't need to delete two, just delete one and don't build the other one. Okay, that's I think is a slight error. Uh, the guide does not tell you how to rearrange your uh, settlement, so make sure before you buy any new buildings, after you sell them, that you rearrange your settlement first, so you have the space to move them around and then you buy them and just put them to where they belong. 
Uh, and uh, anything else that I want to say? Uh, I think the first time you build a goods building, it doesn't show you how to connect the goods building to a road. So I ended up buying an extra tile for a road, and that worked fine. Any questions, you know where to find me. You can also leave comments and send me direct messages. And that's it. It's over. It's finished. Congratulations. Bye-bye.